Hi there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another late night reading, Scorpio. Now, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to call this the wretched hour or the late night hour reading, Scorpio, because the energy hits just a little bit different, a little bit more uh, sensual, a little bit more uh, intensifying, I feel like. So since it is late at night, I decided to pull some cards here. Now, I have a new deck here. But it's a very, um, it's a sexual deck, Scorpio, very, very illicit. So I'm not going to be able to show you the, the pictures directly, but I'm going to give you the imagery and let you see the energy that's, um, I feel like you're in. Someone is, I feel like Scorpio, someone wants to take you out. Now, for some Scorpios, I feel like it could be a warning. And for other Scorpios, it's, it's not as bad. So for the warning for some Scorpios, I feel like someone may want to take you out. They find you so beautiful and so sexy and so attractive. And they want to take you out and get you drunk. And some of them may try to put something in your drink so that they can have their way with you. Now for others, you have an ex-person that wants to take advantage of you, Scorpio. They want to get you drunk. They want, they want to have their way with you, Scorpio. But... I also feel like you got this energy coming towards you where someone is longing for you to take control over their body. I always feel the energy of someone wanting to be all over you, but now I feel the energy of someone wanting you to tame them because you do have the strength card here, Scorpio. You got the strength card. So this, this is taming the beast here is what this is. And I feel like someone wants you to tame the beast in them, Scorpio. Uh, they want you to tame them. I feel like they feel like can't nobody do it to them like that. It's like for, for you feminine Scorpios, you dealing with the man. I feel like this person actually wants you to take control over their body. Like for instance, they want they, they like how you get on top of them and you're aggressive with them. When you're riding them, when you're doing it, that dog, when you're doing it, when you get on top of them, okay? <laughs> but this person, this is the energy that I'm picking up, wants you to take control over them. They they want you to tame them. It, it, that Their aggression towards you is the aggression for you to have towards them. They want to feel like it's only them that you're desiring. They actually want to feel like it's only them that you want to come for, Scorpio. And that's for real, for real. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. And this is a strength card, Scorpio. Some of y'all got a Leo. Want you to ride them, Scorpio. I feel like also, Scorpio, you have energy coming towards you. Uh that's going to be very, very aggressive. And this could be the same energy, Scorpio. But someone wants wants real, real rough sex with you, Scorpio. I feel like this is a very, very it's kind of like the caveman love type of energy, Scorpio. When this person is somebody so in, intrigued with your looks and your body that they can't control themselves and they will really be rough on you, Scorpio. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's just how they feel about you. But I feel like you would never know this about this person because I feel like this is a very, very intelligent, very quiet, soft-spoken, well-dressed, well-mannered boss type of energy. Uh, probably deal with computers or some type of software system here. But I feel like this person makes a lot, a lot of money. But to their car to their colleagues um, and perhaps to, even to those who work underneath them, they appear to not even really be a fun person. But I feel like this person <laughs> is something about your energy that makes this person want to live again. It's what this person, you make this person come alive. You make them get an erection. And I feel like this person has withheld themselves because they so focused on their career. They're very good. They're very, you know, well to do that. If ever they was to get hands on you, Scorpio, this person going to drive you. I'm talking about this person. This person has a lot of built up energy, a lot of sexual desires, a lot of built up uh, tension that they need to release. 
And this person can only imagine releasing it on Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. I also see someone, Scorpio, I feel like you have a mature... I feel like you have a mature person who owns their business. Like I said, it's very reserved. You wouldn't think that they're a lot of fun. But I also see for some of you Scorpios, you got like a thuggish type of person here. That's very, very impulsive. They do what they want to do. But they <laughs> they want to thug love you, okay? <laughs> you got one that want a caveman love you, Scorpio. And then you have one that wants to thug love you, Scorpio. While you also have an energy that wants you to take control over them. Who Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, this thug love, Scorpio. This person is very, very aggressive, too. Uh, but I don't think this person is going to stick around. But I just think that this person sees you like this. This is They they see you in a sexual way. And they, they're a pretty good lover, too. But they're not ready to commit. So if you want to have fun, this is the only thing this, this thug lover is good for, Scorpio. Because they got a lot of people knows open on them because they're a very good lover. They try to. I feel like this thug lover is very, very, a very, a very, very skillful lover. They know how to get you strong, but they're not gonna settle down with anybody. Meanwhile, you got this reserved king over here that want a caveman love you, Scorpio. I'm talking about they want to. Ooh, I'm talking about if this person colleagues and people that they work around knew how they got down in the bedroom, Scorpio, they would be like, damn. This person, Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, this person want to get you. I'm talking about they really want to get you too, Scorpio. And I also feel like you also have a lot of energy, Scorpio, a lot of energy want to taste you. You got energy. <laughs> Somebody wants to sit you on the table, Scorpio, and have breakfast, lunch, uh, snack, uh, dinner, supper, maybe a snack. I just feel like someone wants to lose their face inside your love, Scorpio. And that's just for real, for real, especially with this energy. And this could be a younger energy too. This, this could be the same as the as the uh, the thug lover, Scorpio. But I also feel like you have, I feel like you have multiple people who want that with you. You got a lot of people who want to eat you out, Scorpio. And that's just for real. Now, don't come for me if you reserve and you can't handle this. I'm just telling you what the cards say. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, this will be ratchet hour, okay? So, but it is what it is, Scorpio. You you know that it is more, it's more than sex. We know that. But this is the energy that's coming towards you, Scorpio. Someone wants you to manhandle them. Someone wants you to take control over their body because they want to feel like you only want them sexually, Scorpio. Because they say, can't nobody ride, jump up there and ride, Big Daddy, like Scorpio. You got that. They, I'm talking about, they, they just want to lay there like a helpless damsel in distress and let you have your way with them. And they ain't going to try to fight you either, Scorpio. They, gonna, they ooh, Scorpio. Meanwhile, you got this, this older gentleman who is you know, reserved, don't, don't really like to, to entertain people that they eye on you, Scorpio. And they know they going to put, they, this person, this person likes to, this is <laughs> Scorpio. This is a candy liquor too. Okay. Yes. This is the type of person that wants to keep you Scorpio, the type of person that want to spend money on you. Uh, I say spend money on you cause that's pretty much what it is. I don't give a damn if you take a person out to eat uh, if whatever you do, you're spending money. Nothing in this world is free, y'all. Now, come on. And, you know, so many times you with people who don't want to do shit for you. But this person, yeah, they're going to want to drive you. They want to power drive you, drill you hard and deep. But they show sure will spend some money on you because this person, I feel like, has a very good, prosperous, successful business here. Who Scorpio. That to see you got some kinky-ass folks that just want to have their way with you, Scorpio. Scorpio, I feel like I feel like for some of you Scorpios for a past person <laughs> this person likes to play in your garden and not wash their hands. I'm talking about and this person likes to just get you off by rubbing on you, you know, playing with your your pearl. They this is what they like because that turns them on. It's like this person wants to take you from the back. Not 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 no nasty stuff. I'm talking about the natural way. Man on a woman. No, no shade. I'm just saying. When you say back door, you, you peep in, in, into all things. But this person 
wants to go into your your personal garden while they're into you they they want to play with they want to play in this person fingers wants to be wrapped around your garden while they're inside of you Scorpio because they feel like it turns you on to to play with your oh shit <laughs> one huh <laughs> I told you it's late night but this would these some powerful ass cars y'all I found these cars where I always go and get my incense and I'll my, I keep a lot of incense my sages it's, it's called the magic cottage <laughs> and they have different tarot decks too and she had a couple of sexual uh magic she had a couple of sexual tarot but I had all of those but this one, when I saw this one sitting up there, I'm like, damn. Because the, 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 the depiction, it tells you, a, I'm not talking about, man, this is some, you thought the other one was something. But, hey, it is what it is. Like I said, Scorpio, someone likes someone likes being inside of you while they play with you because they know that it's going to make you wetter and wetter and wetter while they're inside of you. God damn it, okay? You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. <laughs> Shit, Scorpio. All right, Spirit. Ooh, Scorpio, look at you. They say you a freak, Scorpio. Are you a freak, Scorpio? Because this person, you got a lot of people. You got a lot of people that's trying to come at you now. They they want it. We got, ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, but then you also have the sweet and gentle. I just feel like, I feel like this is a different energy. I feel like someone wants to... Like I said, with the reserve energy here, I feel like this person would do things for you. But I also feel like you got someone. That, I feel like the one who wants you to take control over them because they miss how you ride them, Scorpio. You wasn't ashamed to get on that thing when you was ready, Scorpio. And this is what they liked because they felt like it was nobody in the world at that time but you and them. I feel like this person is missing that, Scorpio, because I feel like this person hasn't found anyone to match that energy. I feel like that was a very good part of your relationship was that chemistry. The chemistry with Scorpio is, is just so amazing. Uh, you know Scorpio is from another galaxy, so quite naturally everything would be deep, and, and your, sex, your sexual energy is so powerful. And you got people that just want to just lick all on you and just... That's all you got one. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. But I feel like this person, this, the, 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 I'm, I'm going to keep talking about this person from the past because they're sad. They're missing you. They're longing for you. And it's like they want to do things to your body too, but they want you to do things to them because I feel like they want to, they want to realize, they want to, they want to feel like you still care about them, Scorpio. They don't want to feel like you just getting off here, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, you also have somebody who looking at you like you so fine and you so beautiful, Scorpio. Somebody may come try to offer you in a threesome with their girl, honey. I'm telling you. Ooh, or they boy, however you get down, Scorpio. No judgment here. I feel like you got somebody. Now, Scorpio, you could be out looking real, real beautiful, male or, or feminine. Don't, don't say, don't come for me. <laughs> and you, you look, and it ain't nothing that you're doing. And it could be somebody at work who's looking at you, Scorpio, because it's the Eight of Pentacles. But I feel like someone someone wants you to have a a threesome with them, Scorpio. As someone, I feel like a guy wants you to have a threesome with them, Scorpio. So I'm going to throw that out there. <laughs> oh, shit, Scorpio, you so nasty, Scorpio. That's what I see. Somebody wants you to have a threesome with them, Scorpio. Because they focused on you. They feel like you you the missing puzzle to them, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I also feel like, Scorpio, you have, you may have been dealing with someone or you may have someone who, like I say, you may have, you got a lot of different energy. You got older energy and you got younger energy here. Damn, somebody won't. Damn, that's the Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. Ooh, that's the Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. This is this is somebody wants somebody wants it to be. 
somebody wants wants you around them so that they want it to be like y'all live together in this ten of pentacles and you know how you just got through having sex and shit and you ain't got to rush and get up and do nothing. I see you guys walking through your beautiful home naked, Scorpio. And it's just like it's nothing. That's you and Bay. Somebody looking at you like that, Scorpio. And <laughs> your family and friends be coming over there and y'all done come all through the whole house. They Y'all done skeeted all through the kitchen and the all. And <laughs> I'm just saying in this Ten of Pentacles, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just saying. But this is a couple here. But it's like a couple who is so comfortable and laid back with each other because you're, you're, you're in this together. It's like a 50-50 love because with this depiction, you got five pentacles on this side and five pentacles on this side. So it's like a fair... It's like, it's th this is the type of relationship where you know your person and they know you. This person is going to make sure they please you before they please themselves. As well as you're probably going to try to please them before you please yourself. Now, you may be saying no, but in the Ten of Pentacles, that's the type of shit you do. You feel me? You make sure your partner is taken care of. And in this Ten of Pentacles, both of in this Ten of Pentacles, the whole relationship is secure. Ain't nobody coming up short. Y'all y'all getting it together. And you're just being happy and just loving on each other. Y'all just fucking like rabbits pretty much. Because it's, it's like someone is creating a world, a, a, a world, Scorpio, your, their own personal safe haven, their palace with Scorpio to have you just as they want all to themselves, Scorpio. I feel like someone wants your love all to themselves, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Well, that's sweet, isn't it, Scorpio? Wasn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, snap, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. I feel like, Scorpio, whoever this person is, I feel like you had a lot of people who wants to get your attention because they just, I just feel like some, somebody may want to take you, uh, somebody may want to take you on a trip, Scorpio. They like your vibrant energy here, but this person is sexually attracted to you too, Scorpio. And they just want you to be comfortable. But I feel like this person, I feel like this person wants to take you on a trip, all expense paid on them. You're going to, you're going to get, you're going to have a very, very good time. And you might even get this one some, Scorpio, because they're going to make sure you have everything you want and need, Scorpio. But this one gonna wanna have this one gonna wanna have sex with you. They they're gonna want everybody that want that's coming towards you want you sexually, Scorpio. This ratchet arrow is just serving as the energy sexually that's coming towards you, and you got multiple energies here. Somebody wants to come in and bring you a stable, solid commitment, Scorpio. You got the type of energy here where someone wants a relationship with you. And <laughs> someone who does not want to have to, to, to strap it up because this is in-house. Ten of Pentacles is in-house. You <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is in-house. You don't you save, you don't you shouldn't have to do that. And I feel like someone is trying to create this place so that they can have you all to themselves, Scorpio. And I'm talking about if you if you if you take this offer with this person, whoever this energy is coming towards you, they're gonna wanna get you every day, all day. Now, now, now don't think you I mean you're gonna have a life of luxury, but don't think this person ain't gonna wanna hump on you, Scorpio, because they are. What's that? The King of Wands? Oh, that's the King of Pentacles. Ooh, snap. Ooh, Scorpio. See, I told you this person want to do things for you. Scorpio. This person want to... Ooh, Scorpio, this person may even want to take you out dancing. For some of you Scorpios, I feel like somebody got... A, I see... Look, I see a lot of kings in here too, Scorpio. And, 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 ooh. But it's like different... I see older energy and younger energy too. The, the younger energy is more feistier. They're going to thug love you, Scorpio, and they're playboys. But these older gentlemen, Scorpio, like you got this this very, you got this king of swords energy that's very reserved. They, I feel like they make very good money. They may work for software, but they, they don't ever let anyone know that other side of them. But, you know, they've been all working, no play, but they gonna want some of you, Scorpio. You got, you got this person that wants you. They gonna, they gonna get <laughs> 
I'm telling you, if this person colleague saw how they was getting you, because I feel like this person going to get you deep. They going to they gonna deep dive. That's what they want, Scorpio. And I also feel like, I feel like whoever, who I feel like you have three, you have multiple energy. This is the sexual energy around you. But the main ones that's standing out is the king, these two kings, of, these, the king of swords and this king of pentacles. And the strength card here, because the strength card, I feel like it's someone from your past because they want you to take control over them. Now, remember, I am channeling this because I'm going by the pictures too, Scorpio. So just, just flow with me now. Because they want, they want, they want, it could very well be that this person wants this, this ten of pentacles with you. Because they're wanting you to, it's like they need to feel like they're special to you. They want you to be all over them. They don't want to be all over you, although they want to be all over you. They just want to feel special in Scorpio eyes. Scorpio, they need you to specialize their ass. Ooh, Scorpio, they need the Scorpio touch. And I feel like either way it goes, somebody wants this commitment. And let me clarify this. Ten, what is this Ten of Pentacles about, Spirit? Who is this? Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Clarify with the same deck. Three of Cups. Ooh, so it could be someone from your past. I don't know, Scorpio. Or like I say, somebody just... It, like I say, somebody... You could, you could go out with someone. Because I feel like you're going to go out on a date with someone. Or this is someone who you used to hanging out and having a good time with. I feel like whoever this person is that wants to bring you a solid offer, they're, they're thinking about you, Scorpio. A lot of people have a lot of sexual energy towards you. But you have this one major one here with this Ten of Pentacles that wants to spend time with you. And they don't want no excuses. So they feel like if they create their own shit, then we can do whatever the hell. You ain't got to go nowhere. I ain't got to worry about you trying to brush me off. Everything you need is over here. <laughs> what they said everything you need over here what you what you going home for <laughs> you know you could have your mail transferred over here type of shit i just feel like this is what somebody wants they they're gonna create something for you just to have you all to themselves now this king of pentacles scorpio clarify this king of pentacles let's see what this up this queen king of pentacles i feel like this king of pentacles wants to spend money on you and uh, uh take you on a trip I feel like this for some of you, uh, Scorpio. This King of Pentacles is a, a what Latino. This person is Latino and they like to dance. This person is into salsa dancing. For some, this person is a very good dancer, and for others, this this person likes to have fun because they got the money. You know, they 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 can afford their lot. They can afford to go out and have a good time because they earn it as this King of Pentacles. They work for this, and they got their eye on you. They want to dance with you, honey. Look, this is what they want with you. They they're gonna take you somewhere and dance with you. And for some of y'all, y'all gonna go to this person's house and they got a hell of they got a badass crib and they got a, a badass deck outside and you are gonna get get the drink in that fine ass. Uh, imported wine and shit, and you're gonna start getting all frisky, and your leg gonna get to popping all up and shit. But he ready anyway, cause he ain't got no underwear on. <laughs> y'all done messed around and got drunk at the boss's house. Now, now both of y'all done got all horny and shit, bumping and grinding on each other. <laughs> Oh, shit, Scrappy, I'm telling you, that's what I see, honey. This King of Pentacles, this one going to take you out. This one like to have fun. This King of Pentacles is the life of the party. They like to have fun. So if you stuffy and scared and shame and worried about what people say about you, then you don't need this King of Pentacles because they going to, this the type of person that don't give a fuck what nobody think. They make their own money, shit. They like you only live once of a viva la locha or whatever. You know, I'm just saying. And no shade. I'm just saying. I just feel like this person, they they been out kicking it. Look at he they dressed up, but look, he look like he they look like <laughs> one thing led to another. But see, some of y'all Scorpios are slick with your sexy uh, sensual ass. Somebody done wore this sexy ass dress. Some of y'all may go out on a date with this bowler <laughs> and wear you a sexy ass freakum dress with no panties underneath. Now look at that. Cause he in her, ain't it? He in there. And yeah, I feel like this is a first night. <laughs> the first night. 
Oh, shit, for somebody, don't come for me. Somebody going to give it to the King of Pentacles on the free first, first freaking night because the mood going to be right. Y'all going to get, somebody going to give in on the first freaking night, Scorpio. Ooh, because you with a boss and they're they going to be doing so many nice things. Hell yeah, you going to let your, look, and he well hung too. Look at her mouth open. She like, damn, I didn't know you had it. You got money and you got some good things. Shit. <laughs> That's what it look like she's saying to me. So be careful because you got some, and, and they want to play now. Ain't nobody trying to sit up in no house and watch no freaking movies. <laughs> everybody trying to celebrate. Everybody trying to have some, everybody trying to have fun. They want to have fun. They want their energy right. I see a lot of weed smoking, Scorpio. Some people going to be snorting their powder. Everybody going to be doing their own thing, but everybody's going to be in this induced sexual <laughs> I feel like whoever you go out with, they smoke either a pipe, you know, like a cigar, or they smoke marijuana in a cigar. I see smoke. I see I see a cigar with this one. I see a cigar with this one too. And with this person with this jacket, I feel like that's a that's a blunt. <laughs> that's a blunt right there. <laughs> Look like he got on a Fonzie jacket. And there you know he's smoking that gunja. And these other two, they smoke cigars. Very expensive cigars, honey. They, they don't even make them over here, okay? So, all right, check yourself. Oh, Scorpio, for some of you, Scorpio, what's, ooh, what's that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of pentacles. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, for some of you, Scorpios, someone is turned on by you being single and beautiful here. And it could very well be that this person coming to you, but I feel like this is you. This is the type of person, Scorpio, that, and it may be weird for for some. It may be weird for some of y'all. Everybody got their own different fetishes. But for some, this one person, you got, they, they just find you the shit. You the nine of pentacles. You single, you abundant, you looking good and shit. They just want to see you lay that neck and they just want to look at your monkey. That's all they want to do is just sit there and look at your monkey. And this is a beast, so let me cover this up. This is like a gorilla. She knows she should shave. Shame on you, ma'am. No, no, that's that's whatever. They just want to see you naked, Scorpio. They sit like you just beautiful. All they they gonna get off just watching you lay there. So, and somebody, Scorpio, you got somebody who want to see you play in your own shit, cause that's a turn on for them. They want to see you play in your own garden, Scorpio. Ooh, shit, Scorpio, y'all so freaky. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end it right there. All right, Scorpio, this has been another late night reading. We're going to call it this Ratchet Hour. If this video resonates, don't come for me. This is for grown folks, mature-minded people. If you don't think you the shit like that, then you don't have to tell me in the comment section, honey. Just just be you, you know. But it's some Scorpios out there that got that good, good. It's some Scorpios out there that know how to please their partner. And there's no shame in Scorpio's game. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys. Hit that thumbs up video uh, button, please. Leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you, Scorpio, on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.